In line with the recommendation of the World Health Organization to avert the spread of COVID-19, Akwaibom State Government has embarked on decontamination of some major cities and strategic locations across the state. Addressing journalists after the exercise at the weekend, the state chairman of the Environmental Protection and Waste Management Agency, Prince Ikimi, said Governor Udom Emanuel had given a marching order that all strategic public places in the state be decontaminated to prevent community transmission of the virus. Partnering with some uh, corporate bodies and individuals, we're, uh, we're partnering with uh, NMA, we are partnering with the Memorial Foundation, FERIP, and uh, Hensec, uh, all hands are on deck. For us to do this kind of um, decontamination, we must follow procedures. And uh, there's a WHO standard, which uh, we followed closely. And uh, we have our chemicals ready. Uh, as you can see, this is about um, 18,000 liters of uh, mixed chemicals. Um, strategically, we're going to touch big hotels in uh, Eketz, we're going to touch major churches in Eketz, we're going to touch, um, this is the secretariat, which we're going to uh, also decontaminate. We're going to uh, move to the markets and the parks. So basically we're going to start with secretariat, then we get into other places. Joining us now is Honorable Prince Ikimi, Chairman, Environmental Protection and Waste Management Agency, Aquabim State. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Can you give us a more insight to the ongoing decontamination in Aquaibum State, championed by you? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let me say this emphatically, that uh, Aquaibum State's government, which is led by His Excellency Bikinodom Gabriel Emanuel, had given us some matching orders for us to decontaminate the most, most public places and um, private places in our private states. This was in the government's effort to safeguard the people against the COVID-19 pandemic. His Excellency, the governor, had uh, proactively given us that matching orders, and uh, we have divided the state into phases. The first phase was um, uh, public places like the markets, the parks, the secretariats, you know, hotels, some major hotels and all that. And um, second phase, we also dealt into primary and secondary health care facilities, which is uh, ongoing. And uh, we are almost through with the second phase. And uh, by the grace of God, His Excellency has also approved the third phase, which is still going to be on uh, secondary and primary health care facilities and also places of high need. That is residences of uh, cases, uh, people of known cases, and some other people that have been discharged and all that. So that is what we are doing in our private state, not letting so any... why, why is it necessary, really, um, considering we know for a fact that um, the, the virus doesn't stay on a surface for uh, too long, and we've had rains for a while now. So how is it really contributing to the fight against COVID-19? Well, uh, if you look at uh, the symptoms of COVID-19, it's almost similar to that of... Um, uh, malaria and typhoid. So uh, you know that um, when you are looking at the second phase, when we talk about the primary and the healthcare facilities, the first part of call for anybody that is sick are uh, those uh, healthcare facilities. And uh, for us not to take anything to chance, uh, we, uh, the governor had decided that we should decontaminate those places. Uh, besides the rain, you also know it's um, a prevention uh, method, you know, to you know keep the COVID-19 of the state, the virus of the state, and uh, it's a continuous process. So that's why we are decontaminating this place. All right. Um, you picked some strategic uh, public places in the state. What about other areas? Uh, are, are those not essential as well? Okay, that's why we said that we had divided, we divided the decontamination into different phases. We had concluded the phase one, which was... Um, the markets, the parks, uh, some hospitals, the secretariat, and all that. We got into the second phase, which is primary and secondary healthcare facilities, like general hospitals, primary healthcare centers, healthcare centers, and all that. So we are still continuing on the second phase. Is, so is in this the going to cover phase, the entire state, if I may ask? Is this going to cover the entire state, and what is the time frame for it? It's covering the entire state. And it, we do not have a time frame because it's a continuous thing. The contamination is a continuous thing. So it's covering the 31 local government areas in the entire state. 
When we talk about the primary and uh, secondary healthcare facilities, you know, we have them spread over about 582 of them spread over a five home state as a whole, the 31 local government areas as a whole. So it is not just in your local government, it's the entire state, the entire five home state. And right, I also talked about places on, of uh, The people's reaction, how are the people reacting to uh, the decontamination exercise? Are they welcoming or is there more a display of skepticism? No, 100% it is welcoming. It's also giving the people the confidence that the government is proactively handling the issue of COVID-19 as far as survival state is concerned. So the people, they, they welcome it a lot. They are very happy about it. That's why you can even see uh, some members of the public who also advise that at least uh, they'll pinpoint, you know, pinpoint certain places where we should also assist them in the contamination. They are very happy about it. They are happy with the government and they are happy with the government. All right, uh, Prince, thank you very much for joining us on the news. We appreciate your time. You're welcome.